Hello everybody. It's been a while. Let's just pick up where we left off. Is that all right? This trip story was submitted by a user named Lucid, October 27th, 2016. It's entitled Masters of the Universe, and it's an experience on 35 milligrams of DMT and a bit of cannabis. I haven't read this one yet, but I heard it's really good. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more trip stories. Uh, sit back, relax, smoke something, drink something, and enjoy the story. All right. First, a little background information to provide some context for the trip. This experience was going to be the second DMT experience of my life, and I was extremely excited for it, feeling a definite charge through my body as I picked up the bowl and contemplated the hit and what it was going to do to me. Having just had my first DMT experience 24 hours earlier, I was more than aware of the incredible rush that was going to blast me immediately after the hit, and to be honest, I was a little intimidated by it. During the first experience, I blasted through the veil immediately and was thrown out into this gigantic open space where I was shown innumerable images and events. The emotions I was experiencing in that place were that I was home and that I had been there so many times before. These were some of, if not the strongest emotions I have ever felt in my life. It had felt like an incredible revelation was thrown in my face, and yet it was the most obvious thing ever to me. I was jubilant and you can easily see from the first trip I would be so excited for the second. Anyway, to the trip. 6.40 p.m. In my friend's lounging room, with all lights off and with seven to eight candles burning, three close friends are present, and my mindset all day has been gearing towards preparing for this moment. My previous trip left me with an incredible sense that I needed to trip again, almost as if I was being called back into the DMT lands to be shown more. The DMT is packed in a water pipe, with a thin layer of weed above and below it for a buffer. After talking about, after taking about 15 minutes to meditate and get myself centered, I decide it is go time. Empty my lungs and lean forward to the pipe. Taking one gigantic hit is the style I have adopted for smoking DMT, and as I release the smoke and lean back into the couch, re reality melted away. It appeared as though I was passing backwards through a portal, total tunnel vision. Simultaneously, I was experiencing hearing the loudest, most electric shredding sound that I have ever heard or experienced. It must have been the fabrics of time shredding, because after this moment, I was no longer in the physical realm. 641 to 646. This is the part of the trip that I have the most trouble recalling, and it was no doubt the most intense part as well. Excuse me. I, distinct, I distinctly remember the feeling of being home again. I was definitely, no question, in the same place that I had gone to on my first trip and even further down the rabbit hole this time. Smiley face. <laughs> I was feeling the feeling of infinity much stronger than my first trip and it seemed like I belonged in this realm this time around. I was there for so long it really cannot be put into words. In fact, my entire trip consisted of two distinctly different experiences, one in body and one out of body, but both of which lasted what seemed like an eternity. Unfortunately for me, I do not remember much about what I saw in this place, but what I was able to bring back with me was that I remember the choice I was given when I left that place. I distinctly remember having the choice to stay in this amazing place for another eternity, or I could return to my body. In fact, up until this point, I hadn't even considered my body or this world, but the moment I had the thoughts that the drug would surely be wearing off soon and I'd be returning to my body, my consciousness snapped back into our physical realm. 646 to 647. Now this is where the trip really starts getting crazy. At this point, my consciousness is back in the room and I had started in with my three friends, except that it is not really a room at all. Except that it is not really a room at all. Instead, I noticed that we are kind of floating in this beautifully golden, aqueous space, similar to the wavy PS3 background, but in indescribable depth and definition. That sounds kind of tight. And I immediately understood this to be the place where reality is constructed from. I try to sense my body, but it's completely impossible and I feel completely separated from it. I look around to try to see my body and I can make out my legs, but they are what seems like many yards down and to the right of me. 
meaning the point of observation would have been somewhere above my left shoulder in the physical world. I look to my friends, but they do not look like they normally would. I can see who they are perfectly, but instead of bodies, they are so abstract that I don't even know what words would do it justice. My friends are clearly having a loud conversation with each other, except that the words make absolutely no sense to me, and they sound like the craziest combination of hundreds of languages. They are radiating this aura of power, and I feel as though I am in the presence of some kind of council, <laughs> except that they are not there to judge me, but rather to offer support and reassure me. There are many other sounds going on in the room, echoes sounding off in all sorts of different pitches. Everything had an incredibly alien feel to it. I distinctly remember being there and listening to their pure gibberish conversation for a very, very long time. And then out of nowhere, it hit me. The mega granddaddy DMT revelation. Literally as if a thunderstruck and I'm blasted with this overwhelming emotion that we, meaning myself and my friends in the room, are projecting the reality we know as life together. And even further than that, I can remember feeling the other guy's energy within me. And I was overwhelmed with the notion that we were really all one entity experiencing whatever we want to in the physical realm, like constructing a play for ourselves to enjoy or to learn from. <clears throat> this dude really broke down his thoughts minute by minute. I love it. 648 to 652. It was after this wave of emotion hit me that reality began to melt away again. It seemed as though the room and my friend's physical existences would not be there when I stopped paying attention to them. But then as, a, as soon as I wanted to be back in the room, I could be and it would rematerialize before my eyes. I continued to toy around with this newfound ability until I was abruptly sucked back fully into the physical world. I was at this point that I opened my eyes and took my first look around the actual room I had started in. And then I realized what was coming next before it even started. You see, during my first DMT out of body experience, after my consciousness returned to my body, I went through a spell of about five minutes where I was shaking violently and consistently, but all the while I felt immensely calm and even pleasurable. As I predicted, this happened again. For about six minutes, my entire body vibrated with th this incredible energy force that I have never felt besides when re-entering my body on DMT. It is almost like pure ecstasy charging through my body as my soul reinvigorates my flesh. <laughs> After the six minutes, I settle down into my body and my skin starts to feel like it, it's glowing with heat. My head feels supercharged. Post-trip rundown. Immediately following the trip, one of my friends had a notebook and pencil handy and decided to start jotting down everything I was rambling on about. This turned out to be an incredible tool when I wanted to go back later and remember certain aspects of the trip. Because there are certain key words or emotions in the notes that will trigger entire memories from the trip. It also helped a great deal in making this journal. This is such a great idea, everybody. Seriously. Writing little notes down during trips can help you remember lessons that you learned during them. And like he said, certain keywords or emotions in the note. Uh, there are certain keywords or emotions in the notes that will trigger entire memories from the trip. That is such a strong feeling and way to truly learn from psychedelic experiences. So that's a good learning note that I want to make real quick. Really, the main thing I want to discuss from this post-trip conversation I had with my friends is this. As I was explaining to them that I had sat and watched them carry out an alien conversation of gibberish for what seemed like hours, they told me that I had, in fact, not opened my eyes to watch them at all during my trip, and that they had hardly uttered more than a few words to each other, and when they did, they whispered quietly to not disturb me. This revelation absolutely blew me out of the water. Did this mean I was really watching them all the entire time through my third eye instead of my physical eyes? Wow. Smiley face. Morning after. This is what I remember most from this entire revelation ordeal. I cannot remember exactly what the revelations that I learned in that place were, but I do remember asking myself during the come down, will they allow me to share the information I just received or should I keep it to myself? This is a very strange thought, and yet I remember it as being exactly as I worded it here. This tells me that A, clearly I felt the information was almost so sacred that people should discover it for themselves. And B, clearly I felt there were other forces that revealed this information to me and I was questioning whether or not they would want me sharing it. I was very shaken by these revelations when I was in the moment. And not in the sense that I was concerned for my well-being or anything, but rather just completely and utterly blown away by it. I was also very shaken and a little scared when offered the opportunity to leave this reality for eternity. No doubt that this is why I am back here now. 
However, I was also laughing like a madman on the inside knowing what I had discovered. It's important to remember that regardless of what I say now to try to rationalize or put the trip into terms we can understand through this realm, I was literally the happiest I have ever been in my life while realizing whatever I realized in that trip. I also got the sense deep down inside that I wasn't fully ready to abandon our reality just yet. So maybe that indicates that subconsciously I knew I had more to do on this planet, yet. But who really knows? Another thing that is interesting to note, the night after this experience, I woke, about five, I woke up about five to six times into sort of a half-awake, half-sleeping state. While in that state, I could remember my dreams vividly, and I was moaning while laying in bed in something like ecstasy. Now I can only vaguely remember the dreams, but I've never experienced anything like that before, and I'm convinced my pineal, convinced my pineal, the DMT, had something or a lot to do with it. Okay. Anyway, after an experience like this, I have only the highest of hopes in regards to what DMT can show me about myself and the nature of existence. Still longing very strongly to try ayahuasca or changa to get a more lengthy experience, although there is no escape once in the heat of a trip like that. I hope this report helps someone make sense of something they've experienced that is as incredible as my experience was. Happy tripping. Wow. That was um that was a good one, man. That was a good one. That's I, I've I'm very 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 close to uh, finally experiencing DMT legitimately. Um, I've been getting con in contact with a few people, so that was a good experience for me to 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 hear. He seemed like he had a really good set and setting that he planned it out, you know, the way he should, respected it, meditated on it. But I think that you know, going into a trip expecting or wanting something that you get from a trip before could sometimes go bad. Um, obviously it didn't for this guy, you know, kudos to him. But um, it's definitely another thing that you, you learn from this uh, story is that the importance of journaling or taking notes. I can't tell you how many times in the middle of a trip I ran and like try to find a piece of scrap paper to just to write a thought down. And then and just thinking like, wow, this thought I just wrote down is the secret to life and this is everything i think you know i have i actually have multiple pieces of paper still to this day that i wrote notes down on so very important yeah great story i enjoyed it if you guys are interested in submitting your own trip story please do so uh, audible 484 at gmail.com write it out please be descriptive and um, if it seems like something i could do for a video i would love to do it thank you guys so much for sticking around yeah, man. I love you guys. Be happy, be yourselves, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.